In March of 2020, the world went into lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic. After months of being forced to stay at our home in Goat Hill, Colorado, we couldn't take it anymore. My wife and I, along with our young twins and a group of really good friends, decided to get away to an Airbnb we rented on the Western Slope to relax and escape the coronavirus. Okay, we've been quarantined for about three months now and we're just getting cabin fever and so we're gonna all go take a vacation. It's gonna be great. We're gonna try to escape this COVID-19. What are you doing? Got the kids back there and the dog. It's gonna be a nice trip up and driving. No one knew what the coronavirus was at the time other than it was extremely lethal. Contact with strangers or even friends could be a death sentence. Social distancing with personal protective equipment like a mask was the only way to survive. On the way to the Western Slope, we made a pit stop in a town where my old friend was working at a local fish hatchery. I had not seen Brendan in quite some time. All right, we're at a rest stop. We're somewhere in the mountains. We're gonna meet my friend, Brendan, who uh, just shared with us he might, he thinks he might be uh, having some COVID-19. He says this is a hotbed here. We didn't know that before. We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, a little nervous about meeting him now with everybody. But it'll be all right. I don't believe him. It's fine. Yeah. It's still been three months since I had a haircut, but I'm really enjoying being out here with my family and nature. Ah. Hey guys. Hey, I got a donut. Oh, hey, share. Brendan. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. What's up, kiddo? Oh. What are you doing? Brendan, long time no see. Are you feel healthy? Are oh, you okay? I'm great. I'm great. This is, this is perfect. What are you doing, mister? Oh, uh, Lord, watch our child. Do you have a mask? A mask? Yeah. Oh, no, you guys no, are very no, close no, right okay. now. Right. You're very close. Cuteness is perfect. Yeah. See? Yeah. He's got it right. Alex, run. Thanks for the donut, Brendan. But I don't think we want to share it right now. It's really good seeing you. Maybe we'll see you soon. If you don't want the donut, that's okay. I mean, I'll see you real soon. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be back real soon. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, how soon? So soon enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're out here on vacation. I mean, that's why we're here. Yeah, with all of our friends. That's right. I and mean, our family. Well, well, yeah, it's good seeing you. Sorry I have to social distance so much. Um, we'll see you. Guys. I, I'm sure I'll see you around on this trip. All right. Well, I'll see you real soon. Okay, Alex, don't follow him, Bye. please. Hey, guys, I think you really should take this donut. Just uh, no, I just don't know. Kids. Out of an abundance of caution, I don't know if I should take that. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you soon. I mean, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Just, 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 oh. just take it. Oh. 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 <laughs> the rest of the ride, I felt queasy. Was it Brendan? Was it the donut? Was it... Coronavirus? Uh, we just arrived on our family vacation. Oh, gosh, so oh wow. Look, sweetie, there's Brian and Heather. Do you think we should tell them about Brendan and how he's gonna come over here? What do you think? As our friends gathered, my fears grew. These were people we could trust, but how would they react to an uninvited visitor? Had I put my companions at risk? What had I done? I had to warn them. So I just told everybody about Brendan, and they're not too happy. They're trying, they think it's a joke or something. But it's no joke, he's coming over here. And he may expose everybody. <sighs> 
The Airbnb was old, and the rooms were stuffy. I decided to ride my bike up the hill to get a little fresh air and clear my head. Back at the Airbnb, the revelers made themselves comfortable and basked in a moment of relief from the pandemic. In their relaxation, they almost missed the interloper's gift to the party. Oh, hey, Brian, what you doing? Starting this drink. Great, great weekend. I'm glad we broke out of quarantine finally and away from all those COVID-19 outbreaks. I know, it's been tough. Well, I just wanted to let you know that Heather said to turn on the um, music again. Brian. Your phone needs to be turned, you gotta sync it. Do First the Bluetooth. Of all, I went to the bathroom and it's slowly went out. Sorry. Are you taking my Enjoy videos? John Prine's clay pigeons. Classic. What, are, what is this? Oh, my friend Brendan dropped that over before he insisted we take it. Really? Yeah, it's a donut. It looks incredibly suspicious. You don't think he has COVID 19, do you? Us probably about a hundred percent. You think you're gonna eat that donut? If you do, I'll have some. Yeah, let's see if we can eat it in one bite. There's nothing wrong with this donut. Except the crumbs. Cheers. You're eating the donut. Oh yeah, don't touch me. Mmm. Mm -hmm. that is delicious. We all ate the donut. I don't want to be in your Then Brian disappeared. Was it to steal away for an amorous tryst with Heather? Or was he coming down with something? Hey, hey guys! Guys, where is Brian and Heather? They're doing a quickie right now. They're doing a quickie. We've got to get out of here quickly because of COVID-19. It's down in this area. We wait for them to be finished with that quickie. No, guys, we need to go now. Why are you so scared of COVID-19? we got to go now. It's the donuts. we got to go, Joe. The donuts in my brain. The donut. Why had I eaten that forsaken donut? On the other hand, it was just a donut, a harmless donut, and I was hungry again. On my way back to the kitchen, I found Brian. Brian, can you taste this for me, please? Sure. Oh, no, we're all gonna get Corona. Then Brendan arrived with a crazed look in his eye. The guests were disturbed by his lack of social distancing. Coming. I'm working. I'm working hard. Hey, don't, don't touch my mom, please. Oh, hey, Br Brendan, we don't know if you have COVID-19 or not. It's, it's all right, it's okay. I don't mean to stigma you, bro, but you might have COVID-19. <laughs> Are you joke coughing or real coughing? Sounds like a dry cough. We're all going to some sort of quarantine. Is this, camp. Is this how we all die? <laughs> Are you guys just joke coughing or real coughing?
friends were dropping like flies. Was this for real? I didn't have time to ask them. I to say goodbye. <laughs> Even Brendan was alarmed by the state of affairs. Everybody's getting sick and dying. I gotta get out of here. took on an awesome power that challenged even the strongest of us. What a beautiful day. I'm really glad I escaped the mess. COVID-19 was evolving, hunting us down and pummeling our immune systems. Oh no, everybody's gone. I'm the only one left and I never got a haircut. <coughs> <coughs> Reason, unbeknownst to scientists, the coronavirus spared our children. They were luckier than my friends and I. How will this new generation survive? Will they continue to carry the torch and perpetuate the glory of Earth's apex species, the human race? Will they master COVID-19 before it preys upon them? Only time will tell. <laughs>